Hello and welcome to this video from the technology company. I'm going to describe a very useful feature in Windows called Remote Desktop Connection. It allows you to use one PC to connect to another PC in a different location. You can then use the remote computer as if you were sitting in front of it. You can even print out documents from the remote PC directly to your local printer. You may have used something like Log Me In before to do this, but with the features and speed of Remote Desktop I think it's worth giving it a try. You can use any PC to initiate the connection, but the remote machine needs a pro version of Windows. In this video we're connecting from a Windows 8 to a Windows 7 machine, so some settings will be different if you're using another operating system. First off we need to allow the remote machine to accept remote connections by checking the following box. Now on the home machine, let's connect to our remote computer. Start up the remote desktop connection. In the computer field, enter the IP address of the remote machine. You can also enter a name if you're using something called Dynamic DNS, which I'll explain later. Set the color depth to 24 bits. Leave the local resources at their defaults. This is a handy feature. It allows us to print our local printer. Choose your connection speed, which will adjust the performance settings accordingly. Now let's connect to our remote machine. Even over a very average broadband connection, the experience is pretty good. This video is captured in real time, so you can see for yourself what you might expect over a 6 to 10 megabits per second connection. As I mentioned earlier, we can print from a remote application straight to our local printer. You can see the local printer showing up here. Depending on your router, you may have to open a port to allow connections through. This will depend on your router, but here we're using a Draytech 2830 ADSL router. Log into your remote PC's router and select Open Ports. On some routers, this may be called port forwarding or virtual servers. Portforward.com is a useful resource if you're unsure how to open ports on your router. The port that Remote Desktop needs open is 3389. Then enter the local IP address of the machine you're connecting to as shown. It's much easier to use dynamic DNS as we're doing here instead of having to remember a random IP address. Also the IP address of the remote connection can change unless you have a static one. Here we're enabling the router function to keep the IP address mapping up to date. I use DIN DNS for my dynamic IP address. You can see my settings here. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching. Please let us know how you get on.